Anime fans, One Piece fans, what's good? The answer to that question, of course, is One Piece. One Piece is what's good. And today, we're going to be talking about why a lot of the warlords are going to be flooding the Wano. <laughs> Hey guys, before I begin, I just wanted to say I have a cold and I know I'm being cliche and I know you probably can't tell the difference between this voice and my normal voice, but yes, I do have a cold in case there's a couple of sniffles in this video. Okay, yeah, let's just get into it because I know that was cliche and stupid. Okay, so this video is about the Warlord. So the Warlord system was abolished two chapters go in chapter 956. Now, the warlords are being hunted by the government, Mihawk, Weevil, Hancock, Buggy, all of those guys are being hunted by the world government and were attacked in chapter 956. And I say a lot of them will end up in Wano, at least one. And why do I say that? So, here's the thing, it's just simple logic. The government is chasing them. So by logic, one of them, or a lot of them, would want to go to a place where the government does not have jurisdiction, a place where the government does not have power, a place where the government cannot touch them, legally, because the world government doesn't have jurisdiction in that area, and that would be Wano. Now, of course, the borders of Wano are closed, and Kaido is there, but they're strong enough to be able to get into the Wano borders and kind of hide out from Kaido, and even if Kaido discovered them, Kaido might like them and want to talk to them or ally with them, especially if it was Mihawk or something like that. Now, I do know Buggy is one of those people where you just assume he'd be caught right away. Now, this goes completely to Frozen Dawn, or he's now called Super Tom. I had him in my stream a couple weeks ago, but Tom said that Buggy will possibly be captured and initiate the second break, or the third break that out in Impel Down history, and Buggy will accidentally free Doflamingo, and Doflamingo will bust a bunch of people and himself out of there. Now, I do think that's kind of a possibility, or Buggy could also go to Wano to like get under Kaido because he'd want to be protected maybe get under Kaido or just go into Wano and hide out there and I feel like Hancock probably would go to Wano especially well, completely if she found out Luffy was there and she'd go to Wano maybe to hide out for the world government or to help Luffy or both because Hancock she could fend off this attack but of course this ta attack has Kobe and I don't know how strong Kobe is in relation to her I think they're probably around the same strength but Hancock can't hold out forever. If they send an Admiral in there, she's finished. And Mihawk, he's one man. I don't care if he's Yonko level. Two Admirals after him, he's a, he's down. So, Mihawk could go to Shanks or he could go to Wano. I don't really see Mihawk going to Wano, but I definitely see Hancock, Weevil, and, uh, what's his face? Buggy. And of course, I made a video a really long time ago that Weevil and Moria will team up. That could happen, Weevil could go to Blackbeard's Island instead, or he could go to Wano, but I think you get my point. Wano, closed borders, protection from the world government, Kaido there if you want to be under his protection, it's an ideal place for a warlord to go. And since most of them, with the exception of Buggy, are strong enough to hold out themselves if they get attacked by Samurai or something like that. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my content, and only if you enjoyed my content, like this video, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more One Piece content, and share this video if you found it interesting, enjoyable, or something like that. I'll see you in the next video, and I hope I get over this cold. <laughs>